I set my intentions bright and clear to be a bright light and a clearing of clarity. Whether your brightest day or your darkest night, just know that darkness is only the absence of light. But what if I told you, you, you are the light, the one, the missing piece, the solution, the buried treasure, the unimaginable, it's you. Welcome to the journey yourself. It is an honor to meet you. Hey Leo, welcome back to The Journey of Self. I am your intuitive tarot reader as well as your host Brandy, and this is The Journey. All right, so the cards are coming out already. Let me tell you, I love doing the Leo's reading because I definitely resonate with the energy. All right, I do have Leo in my seventh house. That lets you know that I am an Aquarius in my first. All right. I recently found out that I'm a Virgo ascendant. I love that. It's awesome. Ooh! Here we go. Oh my God, yo, let me tell y'all something. This video, this video, this reading, I feel like, ooh, it's kind of similar to the Aquarius video. Check that out, okay, if you haven't. Because let me tell you something, Leo. You guys have Aquarius as well. In, in your, I, I believe it's Aquarius in your seventh. I do. I'd, I'd have to really look that up again, but I do. All right, guys. So you have five cards here. First card out, three of swords. There is some type of truth that has been learned that has shattered some type of illusion. Obviously, it, it listen, it was an illusion only because the truth was different from what you thought. So therefore, it was an illusion, right? Because it wasn't real, right? Or delusion, whatever. Some type of idea has been shattered, which is heartbreaking. It's saddening. It's caused pain. But then we have the lovers. The lovers is always going to be about falling in love with someone or something. The death card which is always going to be about change, something coming to an end and something could um, something can come to an end or something can be rebirthed, reborn, something like a phoenix, right? Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is here and as you can see in the Six of Cups, she's really soothing this beast. I feel like there is somebody in your life, guys, that really ignite something in you, but you may have just realized that you have to let this person go. And while you may be peace to this person here with the Ace of Swords, while you may be just as much to this person, there may be someone that you're going to have to let go of, or an illusion has been disrupted in your relationship, and now clarity and truth and growth can set in. Let's go ahead and let me just shuffle my cards. Let's go ahead and clarify, okay? This is going to be the love reading, all right, for you guys. I think I already said that, but here we go again. Oh, the card already came out. Two cards, see? Judgment and the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands can be a scary energy because the page of wands has a hard time grounding himself. Why is that? Because he's young, inexperienced, wants a lot, is not afraid of anything because he hasn't been through quite anything yet. So he doesn't understand what it takes to necessarily ground certain energies. I always think of him as a teenager. When I get older, I'm going to have. When I graduate, I'm going to. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, has no idea how any of those things are achieved. Not in a bad way, just young, inexperienced. Feisty, ready to go, raring to go, enthusiastic because he hasn't been through anything. All right, no problem. Let me put that on the floor before it spills. Then we have the judgment card, making a decision that's going to bring a renewal to this situation or a renewal to your life in general. This could be you realizing that someone that you were interested in, excuse me, interested in, <laughs> interested in is not as grounded or is not as solid as you thought they were. This person um, may be a lot of fun, but is not gonna bring lasting changes into your life or is not going to be there forever. You may have decided that you've had to depart from this energy. Heartbreaking. 
doesn't have to be that they left you. See what I mean? Four of cups, but you're not interested. This could be another fire sign or this could be an earth sign. The lovers, the three of swords. I feel like this situation has made you reevaluate the way you think of love the way you think of relationships and the way you think of your power and other people's power, the way you give of yourself, give of your power and the things you will and will not accept. This has created boundaries. It has created some clear lines to you, some clear truths. You've learned a lot about yourself in this situation. I don't even think the other person is even relevant at this point. I think that you've learned a lot about you. Yep clarified by the Queen of Cups. I always say that when I see the Queen of Cups. If you watch my readings, you know this. Wondering how you're giving of your cup, who you're going to give your cup to, whose cup are you partaking of? All of that. Trying to figure out the emotions, using your intuition as well. Being nurturing to yourself, being nurturing to others, despite what may have gone on. Then we have the three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting on the sun, making your next move your best move. Death card has been clarified by temperance. Just give it time, it's coming. Something amazing is coming, just give it time. The lovers is not here by mistake. The lovers is here for two reasons. I once heard someone say that life is a metaphor and once you get the metaphor, you can be successful. Something is coming, just give it time, give it a chance. Try and balance yourself, try and heal yourself, try and find um, that quiet place within yourself. And this change that is occurring in your life, let it happen and try and be as comfortable as you can through it because it's for the better. Seven of Swords. This at times may involve some strategic thinking and people are going to tell you that they don't recognize you. And there are some people that you will no longer recognize because your taste is changing because you're evolving and you're elevating. Period. This is also about, yeah, stealing, lying, cheating. If this person has done that to you, I don't really need to speak on it because the death card is here. That's over. However, still, strategic thinking. People are watching you. Some people will not recognize you or you may not recognize certain people because of the way they now act toward you. What did I say? Something is coming even though you may not know it. The high priestess is present. We're going to go over the high priestess and the extended. I am now offering extendeds. So check that out on my website. They are completely affordable. So go ahead over to my website and subscribe. I think it comes down to, I don't know, a dollar a month or something. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of awesome. Then we have the full card clarifying the six of cups. I feel like you guys are done with the illusion. You're done with the, with the um, nostalgia of the past. You're done soothing or uh, I want to say... Uh, K-plating? Or is it placating? I, I believe it's placating other people, coddling other people. The fool is here. I feel like you guys are just generally evolving and changing and growing as an individual. And this is also about taking a leap of faith. I feel like this is the advice because what you don't see coming is love. Didn't I just say the lovers is here for two reasons? The fool is here as well to indicate that that is it. I feel like there is someone who is coming into your life that is going to almost make your past null and void. It's not going to matter because they're going to be, um, the whole idea is going to be so different with them. The whole experience is going to be so different. And for a small, small group of you, there is someone who is coming into your life that is going to be a reminder of like, you're gonna feel like you've known them before. That's it. You're gonna feel like you've known them before. And then we have the three of pinnacles, seeing something take shape, aiming and shooting at something from afar, having your eye on something from afar. It could even be somebody that works with you, that likes you and you don't even know it. You really are there. Um, I feel like sometimes you give them great support, you talk to them or whatever, and they don't even know it. the world card. There's definitely something here about an air sign, you guys. There could be an air sign. There could be 
a water sign. It may be somebody coming in. Earth, I'm not getting earth too heavy. I'm getting earth as past tense. There's something that you may have wanted to see take shape. And now your perception changes. But I feel like you guys are going to heal. And wow, this is an upgrade as well. Psychologically, physically, if you've been suffering from any type of illness, this is going to turn around for you. As well as um, seeing things from a heightened view, old cycles ending and new cycles beginning. You guys could definitely be dealing with, yeah, air, water. Signs are not important because we all use these energies at any given time, especially those that are uh, masters, ma master magi magicians or um, master manifestors, witches, right? We all use these energies at all given time, all you know, different times, at any given time. The Ace of Swords, the truth of the matter is, is that these old cycles are ending and new ones are beginning. Some of you may even be moving or traveling, but the truth of the matter is, is that whatever the past has offered you, you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're going to get your demons in a boundary. You're going to get your shit in check, and you're also going to set boundaries with other people. I feel like you guys are really staying away from the darkness, staying away from negativity and focusing on the light. You're healing. Five of Cups. Some of you may have been afraid um, to turn around and look at the good things that are going on in your life. Some of you may have been upset and having anxiety and just, you know, straight, just, you know, regrets and and disappointment about the past and how it ended or how things didn't work out. But I feel like you guys are coming out of that. And um, the advice here would be not to allow yourself to experience PTSD in reference to what you've gone through. In other words, to not be flinching over your past. Okay, Leo, this has been your love reading. I'm going to go over the high priestess and the extended and maybe look at who might be coming towards you because I feel like this is what this may be representing. All right, have a great rest of your day, guys, and namaste.